Bridge Hopkins. Let's play. Let's play Rich Hopkins. Two of my favorite words. Let's play. Especially when it came to dad. Not so much when it was followed by another word. Check names. <laughs> he taught me how to play chess when I was seven years old. He did not teach me, apparently, how to win. <laughs> and he never let me win. I think I lost 673 straight games from the ages of seven and nine. Not that I was keeping track. <laughs> I got so angry. Sometimes I said yell, sometimes I throw the pieces off the board, or I just run back to my room. And finally, at nine years old, I did something two kids my age would do. <laughs> Yeah, I went to the library. <laughs> I checked out Bobby Fisher Teaches Chess. <laughs> 300 pages from an international grand champion. Every single potential move you could make in a chess game. I studied it for three months. And finally, the day came. Ha <laughs> ha, there it gets! Check me! <laughs> Yeah, it might have been a little bit overly competitive. <laughs> Hard to imagine. Mm -hmm. Growing up, I had kids of my own. I still have. <laughs> None of them wanted to learn at age seven, except little blonde haired Riley. So we played, and I never let her win. <laughs> 87 straight days, games, I beat her. Not that I was keeping track. <laughs> but she wasn't like me. She didn't get upset. I don't know. What was wrong with me? Maybe something was wrong with me. That's what you're thinking, right? Something's wrong with you. <laughs> I will blame my dad. Blame the world. And think about it. We live in an incredibly competitive world. Before we even realize it, you know, we're born. Our parents are bragging to the parents down the street about how fast we're rolling over compared to their, you know, bum son. <laughs> how fast it took you to stand up or start to walk. Still working on that one. <laughs> you get into school. And you're put up against other people in English. Oh, you're in the, the baby bird group. Oh, you're in the bluebird group. You're in the eagles group. Yeah, no, that doesn't mean anything to us, does it? With, <laughs> you get into work, and we're constantly compared to each other in terms of productivity. How much profit are we making? Are we going to get that? That promotion at the end of the year, we go in for a review. Mm -hmm. They're comparing me to everybody else. But then, worse than that, think about what we're surrounded with advertising, billboards, radio ads, TV, internet, all telling us what we should be getting. Because what we have right now isn't enough. I need more of this time. It's not nice, but I don't have enough. You probably don't live in a big enough house. Need a better job? Your bank account much too small. All we have to do is go to them. They spend billions, trillions of dollars to tell us we aren't measuring up. We're not good enough. We aren't getting the victory that we think we're getting. And the world doesn't want to let us win unless we do what the world tells us to do. But what about poor Riley? Losing every game, but not getting upset. I gotta tell you, I was a little, a little scared. <laughs> Riley, doesn't it bother you that you've never won a game? No, not really. <laughs> what? Are you a Hopkins? <laughs> okay, I, I thought that. <laughs> well, Riley, why did you want to learn how to play? Well, I don't know. It looked like fun. 
I want to know how to piece this one. And daddy, I wanted to play with you. That is how you checkmate daddy. <laughs> <laughs> if she did more than change the rules of the game that day, maybe. You know, she knew it wasn't whether you won or lost. It wasn't how you played the game. It was who she got to play with. Let's play. She knew that she had control over who she got to play with, what her victory was. It wasn't getting checkmated or checkmating me. It was enjoying herself. It was learning. It was moving forward. We all get to make that choice. You've all made that choice today. Look around who you're playing with. And that's something you never want to give up. Because if you let the world tell you who you can play with, if you let the world tell you whether you're getting checkmated or not, if you're doing well enough in life or not, if you're letting the world define your victories for you, and you're just checking into yourself. This is your chance every single day to get up and play. Toastmasters.